I never saw the ultrasound image. But the nurse practitioner told me I was eight weeks along, which made me eligible for a chemically induced abortion, better known as the RU486 abortion pill. The cutoff was nine weeks. It seemed more private, less invasive, more natural. So I handed over $400 and took the first pill. Tomorrow, whenever you're ready, you're gonna take the four pills in this little brown bag. That's misoprostol. It's gonna just gently empty out your uterus and there's gonna be a little bleeding, but nothing more than like a heavy period. And uh, if there's any cramping, you can take some ibuprofen. Okay, you're all set. Have a nice day. The next day, I did as I was told. I ate a light lunch and took the pills inside my brown bag. I was told I would probably start bleeding in about an hour. In the meantime, I made myself comfortable in my bed. A little bit later, After 12 hours in agony, I fell asleep on the bathroom floor. It occurred to me that this was the way I was going to die. I wondered who would find me. I prayed it wouldn't be my mother. It's not abnormal. <laughs> not abnormal. The bleeding, the clotting, the pain, that is normal. Use heating pads, soak in a warm tub, take ibuprofen. <laughs> How could you not have told me about this? What happened to gently emptying my uterus? That is what I was told would happen. Look, I'm sorry, but I have another patient. Eight weeks passed. Eight weeks of blood clots. Eight weeks of excruciating cramps. And when it was finally over, my anger had disappeared only to be replaced by self-loathing. Meaning, I no longer blamed Planned Parenthood for everything that happened. I blamed myself. 